Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to use the Theodorus spiral to calculate trig functions and find angles. Okay, so some common things that we know about uh, triangles, these top three ones, they're going to be fairly straightforward. So um, ratios that you should know is a 45, 45, 90 triangle has ratio 1, 1, root 2, okay? A 30, 60, 90 triangle has ratio 1, root 3, 2. Okay, so you have to kind of have that knowledge in your head before you go forward. All right, but you're an advanced ancient Greek student, so I assume that you should have that at least available to you. Okay, first thing we're going to do, let's look at this first one here. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set up, make sure I've got one unit dialed in on my compass. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use two here. So I did, there's one, there's two, in that direction. And we'll do one, two, in that direction, even though that's not that important. We're going to let this be our hypotenuse here, this one. Okay? So if we take our straight edge, let me go ahead and go from that intersection. Make sure we got it as straight as can be. Down. Well, that's interesting. Looks like it lined up there. Wonder what that's going to mean. Oops. Yeah. That'll work. All right. So we're trying to find angle theta. Okay, so we know we have two in that direction. We have one in that direction. Some of you might have guessed this. However, I can take a measurement here. That looks to be point to point about yay. Let's go over to our gauge here. Now, Theodore Spiral says we're supposed to be at not root 4. Looks like closest to root 3. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I've got a little wide. Yeah, root 3. I'm going to say this is root 3. Okay, which tells us that this angle, if this is a 30, 60, 90, the smaller one's 30, we've made this one 90, and theta equals 60. That's a 60 degree. Now, keep in mind, our hypotenuse is scaled by 2. So that means we have to, to find our cosine cosine is this direction. We do cosine. We'll, we're just going to do 1 over 2 because we've got to do 2 over 2. It's going to be 2 over 2, which is just 1. So we're scaling it back down. I scaled it up, scale it back down. 
and then our sine is going to be root 3 over 2. So sine of 60 is root 3 over 2, cosine is 1 half. Okay, let's look at our next one. Um, we'll go to this one. Ooh, I've got it set fixed at my one unit. To be safe, I'm going to go out two units this way on our hypotenuse. And then I'm going to set this straight down. So this is two. All right. Now let's try and get this one here. All right. Looks like we've got that. Let's see what that gives us. Um. A little shorter than root 3 here. Now oh, let's keep, let's go back down a little bit. There we go. This one and that one are the same. I'd say that's root 2. Yeah, yeah, that's root two. So root two there, and they were the same, so root two. Okay, now, uh, let's scale this back down. So this will be two over two, which brings us back to the, our one. Uh, and then our cosine, we're going to have root 2 over 2, the cosine. And our sine, we're going to have root 2 over 2. Oh, interesting. It looks like 1 root 2 root 2. That's a 45, 45, 90. It is an isosceles. Base angles are equal. 45, 45, 90. Okay. What about this guy? Now, this guy, we have. Make sure I get this just right. He's a little short. That's okay. We'll just make him longer. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we might need to bring this one out a little longer too. Okay. So yeah, no problem if your angle's a little small. That's all right. There we go. Now, what's real important is this hypotenuse. I'm going to make our hypotenuse here. This is one unit, this is one unit, so our hypotenuse is two. Okay. Um, let's drop it down then. Right onto our axis. Okay, that might have gone a little far. Oh well. Let's see what we've got here. All right. That looks like one one unit there. That's one. Well, I bet you we're going to have a root three here. Spoiler alert. Let's see. Which would give us, oh, I had it set at about root three right there. Let's see. 
just to check. Yeah, root three. Okay. So that's root three. So in this case, our cosine will dial this back again, right? So back to one, that's that step. Cosine, oh, that's right. So this one was, let's say phi. Phi was 45 degrees. Okay, we'll call this one alpha. And this alpha was, let's see, one root three, two. The smaller, this one's obviously bigger than that one. So that one means we've got a 30. So alpha equals 30. 